Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well and keeping safe during these times. Um, in this episode right here, I'm going to be talking about concurrency and parallelism and how it affects you if you're a programmer and how it actually affects the user who use computer systems. In the modern day and age, the only way that we're able to scale and create computer systems that are actually fast enough to process video rendering or your video games is through creating more cores on the CPU and the GPU. And to utilize these cores, um, to utilize these CPUs to the maximum capability, the concept of concurrency and parallelism need to be applied to these systems. Let's first take a look at an, at an example. So I've recorded my screen here where uh, we're taking a look at the task manager. So this is the activity uh, console for the Mac. And if you look on the right hand side, you'll see that, you know, my computer actually has six cores and 12 threads. And on the left hand side, you'll see the programs that are running on it. And you'll see if you look at the threads column, you'll see that there's a lot more threads than there are cores. This is where the concept of concurrency uh, is doing its thing. In the next couple of examples, I'm going to show you a visual example of how concurrency actually works. Before I go to the concurrency part, I'm going to show you how a single threaded non-concurrent system actually works. So let's take a look. In this example, the single threaded, uh, the CPU, so in, uh, represented by the blue, uh, the cyan dot in the middle running through the pink line, it's going through and processing each task one task at a time. And once it's done from task number one, it moves on to task number two, and it moves on to task number three. This is a non-concurrent, single-threaded uh, way of executing tasks. Let's then take a look at the concurrent system. So you'll see here in the concurrent system, there are two tasks, task number one and task number two. And you'll see that um, it switches between task number one and task number two, and then back to task number one. This is something called thread interleaving or temporal multi-threading. So what this is, is the CPU is trying to execute task number one. Along the way, it switches to execute task number two so that task number two doesn't have to wait for one number one to, to finish. And then once it's done doing a certain part of task number two, it switches back over to task number one. This is what we call a concurrent system. So there's a lot of confusion online, uh, you know, when I talk to engineers uh, about concurrency versus parallelism. So in the next example, I'm going to show you what a parallel system actually looks like. In this example here, you can see that um, there are four tasks, task number one, two, and three, and four. You'll see that this, the first uh, CPU, which is represented by the, the cyan dot, and the second CPU, uh, which is represented by the green dot, executes tasks at the same time. Multiple tasks are being uh, executed at the same time. So the main difference here is that we have two CPU cores actually executing the task uh, at the uh, two tasks at the same time, uh, rather than you know having one CPU switch from one task to the next and then back to the original one. Uh, or any switching to any other task. And the advantage of having a concurrent system is that even though you don't have enough CPUs uh, to compute all of the threads, as uh, you know, shown in the activity uh, manager, you know, we have like hundreds of threads. Um, this is exactly what's going on. The operating system is actually switching between the threads, you know, given by the, the program, the software that's running on it, it's switching really fast between these threads. That's how you get the ability to actually do multitasking on your systems, even though you don't have, you may not have as many cores. So like even you have a, a four core system, which is a standard nowadays, uh, you can potentially do eight, nine, 10, even 20 things all at once uh, using concurrency. Uh, a parallel system is when your software is actually running multiple tasks uh, at the same moment in time. One can say that a parallel system is always concurrent, but a concurrent system is not always parallel. That's the best way I can describe it. That's the, the conclusion uh, for this episode. 
So if you like this video and you want to see more topics like this discussed on this uh, channel, uh, like, share and subscribe. Take a look at our uh, channel. We are going to be making a lot more of these, you know, concepts and, and videos that uh, talk about philosophical ideas. And like in the previous episode, uh, I talked about thinking in first principle as a software engineer. Uh, definitely worth taking a look. And uh, with that, I want to wrap up this episode. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.